to be absolutely honest even if you do not get into these colleges it does not matter much a normal bachelor's degree and a self driven training is sufficient to reach great heights in mathematics in fact it might even be advantageous depending on your mindset uh, hello everyone uh, this is the mathematics after high school seminar and discussion uh, this is from chinta.com if you are someone who loves mathematics and wants to pursue it after school this seminar is for you we will discuss quite a few things here we will first talk about what comes after high school that is the colleges and places which are reputed and how to get into them and so on then we will talk about what comes after colleges that is the ms and the phd programs we will talk about opportunities inside and outside india next we will go into areas of interest there are variety of things mathematicians work on group theory topology geometry number theory just to name a few you can start working on some of them right away just after high school there are plenty of open seminars and programs at chinta.com you can check out the link in the description for our portal of resources there are many free things available there as well i think it will be useful for you uh, before we begin let's uh, talk a little bit about chinta.com we are operating since 2010 we have a fantastic rigorous college mathematics program which is geared toward isim math tifr entrances iit jam and subject gre these are the tests that you give after college we also have great research projects and work opportunities for students who love mathematics. They are very useful if you are applying for a PhD program or even a job after college. They look really good in the resume. Uh, you can also check out the faculty team at Chinta. It's mostly com comprised of Olympians and researchers from leading universities in India and abroad. A little bit about myself. My name is Ashwini Dajgupta. I have a PhD in Mathematics from University of Wisconsin, Milwaukee, United States. My research interest is in geometric group theory. It's a great area of mathematics. There is a lot of activity in this area. It involves group theory, topology, geometry, a lot of good stuff. You can check it out online. I'm also a founder and faculty at chinta.com. Now, let's begin the discussion by saying that there's a lot of open seminars in college mathematics you, you can find them in the link in the description we keep on doing them every month so you can join our portal and have access to them after high school there are a bunch of great colleges in india where there are great professors and teachers and students from whom you can learn a lot of course the isi bmat program the indian statistical institutes bmat program and the Chennai Mathematical Institute's BSc Math program uh, rank top of the line. There is an excellent BS program in ISC Bangalore, uh, which is also quite good. The Indian Institute of Science, Education and Research has a BSMS program, integrated BSMS program, which is quite good as well. There are several ISERs in India, in Bhopal, in Kolkata, in Mohali, in Trivandrum and so on. You can definitely check them out. There is an Autonomous Institute for Mathematics in Orissa, in Bhuvaneshwar, Institute of Mathematics and Applications, that focuses on pure mathematics at the undergraduate level. That is also quite a good institution. And the IITs also offer integrated BSMS programs in mathematics. So, when you are studying mathematics in India, undergraduate level mathematics these are the first few places that come to mind but there are some other colleges which are quite good in fact there is a list of colleges like Loyola College, Presidency University, Ferguson College 
St. Stephen's Madras Christian College, Christ University, St. Xavier's in Calcutta and Mumbai. I'll put this list in the link in the description so that you can use it. However, uh, these are not the only options. You may also strategically opt for less known colleges. In fact, they can be advantages for you in many ways. Firstly, you could have a great opportunity for peace of mind and focus as these less known colleges are less demanding. You can create a plan for a great master's and pro program or a PhD program and work toward that. They have negligible structural pressure. So you don't have to always go to the college or you don't have to take very strict tests or anything. This can be an advantage for you depending on your mindset. You can focus precisely on what is needed for the next step. That is, when the next step is from college to university, so you can focus on just that. And you can also focus on research. It is really awesome. You can learn a lot and you can create new mathematics. All of these things will be useful for the next step when you go from college to university for even higher education. So after college, that's where the real game begins. There is a great journey that awaits you and uh, I think it is quite wonderful. There are plenty of MS and M math programs in India. There is a lot of good PhD programs in India. And the good news is there are only about 1000 actual candidates who are vying for these positions. And the reason is quite simple. In the bachelor's level, that is just after high school, everyone, anyone who will be engineer or doctor or some who will go to some other profession, they are also taking the entrances. But after college, only the people who are really interested in mathematics stay in the subject. So the competition is much less and there are a lot of great places in India actually to do masters or PhD level work. Uh, for example, TIFR Bangalore and Mumbai have great programs, masters programs and PhD programs. IISC Bangalore also has great postgraduate level programs. IITs, ISERs have great programs. Indian Statistical Institute and Chennai Mathematical Institute, they have great programs and all of these programs have their own entrances. Particularly IITs have the IIT Jam, ISI has the ISI M Math entrance, CMI has their own MSc Mathematics entrance, TIFR has their own entrance and so on. So in your college days, in the three years of time that you have, you can focus on the topics that are really needed for the masters or PhD level entrances. There are a fixed set of things that you should focus on. Like there is group theory, that's extremely important. Then we have real analysis, linear algebra, and vector calculus. These are the four pillars you can say group theory, real analysis, linear algebra, and vector calculus. Additionally, you can also work on topology. Topology is especially useful to get insight into real analysis problems. If you are applying for TIFR Mumbai, topology will be relevant. And even if you are applying for abroad, like PhD programs abroad, you want to give GRE, subject GRE or something, then topology will be useful. And then there is one more thing that is extremely relevant. It's a pre-college stuff. A number theory, combinatorics, and uh, geometry that is there. So, um, most students who are applying to these positions after college, they get a little bit blurred on these topics, these residual topics, number theory, combinatorics, geometry. But as since you now you are listening to this talk, assume, assuming that you will have a good plan. You should not forget these topics. These will be extremely useful in the objective sections of many of these entrances after college. If you want to do PhD outside India, specifically United States, 
of course you have to give GRE in most cases you will have to give GRE and anything above 320 is great this test is out of 346 similarly you will also have to give 12 110 plus is sufficient you see PhD outside India especially in United States is not that hard to get and to understand why you have to understand the economics of teaching assistantship once you get a PhD offer from some university you will be basically teaching students college students in that university first year or second year students and American universities rely a great deal on these graduate students students like you who are pursuing PhD to do this job at a low cost so they are actually willing to give these positions out you will have to just take it to work hard at GRE and TOEFL and do all other things all the other things right and you, you will get an offer subject GRE is of course a useful tool but you have to look into the department's website of different universities to check whether it's actually required or not it might be optional another thing that you might need is a letter of recommendation usually universities ask for three letters of recommendations you may also add research projects and work experience to your resume now last but not the least grades well they're not really very important they're somewhat important I would say keep the keep a reasonable standard of your grades in college days and you'll be just fine now we will end this discussion with how Chinta can help you you can go to Chinta.com to find out more about it but I'll tell you briefly how we can help there are really five ways that we can help you uh, there is a training program for college mathematics it's a very rigorous training program you can use it to learn the bare minimum stuff you need for the masters at PhD level entrances simultaneously there is a training in necessary pre-college topics like number theory geometry uh, uh, combinatorics and so on so that you do not forget those topics there are research projects that goes on at Chanta these projects are mentored by researchers from leading universities who can help you to create new mathematics and at least survey useful ideas these research projects looks really good in the resume when you are applying for universities especially abroad you can also work at Chinta as a teaching or research assistant that also looks really good in your resume if you are applying for universities of great reputations finally many there if you check the faculty team at Chanta you will see that there are many people who are in the faculty team whose letters of recommendation has great value of course they will not just hand out letters of recommendation you have to work hard to earn it but that could be one place where you can look for letters of recommendation we have we have given letters of recommendation for students who have earned it over the years who have applied for universities across the world you can check the link in the description for open seminars we conduct them every month you can put comments to ask questions I'll be very happy to answer them thank you